All right, you're back with Arthur Moti on this Tuesday evening, and God has allowed me to share another moment with you. And what I want to talk about briefly today about having a relationship with the Heavenly Father. There's no relationship greater. I got to tell you, when you've witnessed God's power, when you witness the mercy and the grace of the Heavenly Father, let me tell you guys, from speaking from true experience, it truly does change your life. I want people to see because I started all this back in 2023. I wasn't doing that before that. I wasn't speaking openly about the Heavenly Father until I went through my journey. But I want people to realize many of you are going through life blind, spiritually blind. And it is nothing like losing your sight. Now, you imagine walking through life where you cannot see in front of you. It's like darkness, like you 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 can't see. Like if I cut this camera off on this phone, you guys will literally see what it is like to walk in darkness. And imagine not having any light to direct your step. But I got to tell you from speaking from experience, not only has God taken my tragedy and made it his triumph, God truly, and it says in the scripture about he's the, the lamp, the light of the foot, like the lamp. I got to look up that scripture, but he really does light your way. And God has been doing so great for me that I'm truly grateful and I love serving God. Do you hear me, guys? I am not afraid to say that. You're looking at somebody that is not off his rocker. You're, you're looking at someone through a health situation so bad that I can't wait. You see, you guys seen the book, The Miracle Next Door. Well, guess what? I want you guys to live and I want to give you that live experience. That's why I was willing to travel because the world needs to know that God is a living God of today. He exists among us. His power is so great. Do you guys realize this? God sits on a throne. Do you guys know how appreciative I am of that? Because not on, God could have taken me up to him. For him to come down to me and spend time with me is truly amazing. It's nothing like having experience from the Heavenly Father and then watch him continue doing things in your life. Guys, I'm telling you, God is truly a blessing. And I want to share that moment with you guys because one thing is what I want people to realize I'm now speaking on more, not just about my moment with the Heavenly Father, but now I can speak on how I have a relationship with the Heavenly Father. God wants to have that relationship with us. So for those that know the Heavenly Father, come to know him, come to know God's heart. And for those that don't know God, seek him and you will find him. It is nothing like seeking God. That is the greatest reward. And I'm telling you guys from experience, even as he's taking his time, continue to restore my vision and he's brought me more to being more nearsighted. If God let my sight go again, I would not have a problem with that as long as I'm still able to hear his voice, to feel his massive presence, to have that moment with him. That's all that matters to me because he has opened my eyes. God has opened my eyes spiritually. Do you guys realize you're walking in this world, especially those that don't know Christ, that don't know the Lord do you know that you are walking spiritually blind? You want to know what that seems, what that feels like? This is what it feels like. Can you see anything? You just see, you see nothing, right? It's complete darkness. So imagine y'all, this is the way you're seeing the world. This is the view of those who are spiritually blind. They can't see. So imagine and then having God to shed the light on you where you can see far greater than what you've seen before. So I'd rather continue 
walk with the Lord because it's such far more greater. You heard it from Arthur Moti. I'm going to leave you with that. Stay lifted in the faith. I'm not worried about the subscriber numbers. I want those. I want more people to reach for God. I want people to give their soul to Christ. That's the number that I like to see grow. You heard it from Arthur Moti. Amen.